Right, right, right. This seems to uh, this seems to work well, 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 well. We are live with an episode of what is Xiaomi doing? Maybe I should turn on the lights. I know, you know, make it a little bit more uh, festive. So um, this definitely was one of the most requested shows on my YouTube channel. And I figured I want to do this one in a live stream so I can actually interact with you guys. I can see um, some of you guys are in the live chat. So I can see um, X Deadly Player says uh, that I should be uh, probably doing other reviews of other products. But uh, come on. I mean, I, uh, I, I have a Xiaomi channel, so... Hey, this is super cool. I, I, I'm really excited. I wanted to do this for a very long time. And in the end, I'll kind of explain why I'm starting to do this as a live stream, um, as opposed to um, doing this as a pre-recorded version, because I really like to do the, um, the interaction with you guys. So I've prepared a little bit of a presentation like you would probably expect um, from this What is Xiaomi doing episode. So um, let's I don't know how many people are watching. I'm not sure if I can see it, but I think we should just dive into it um, and and just have this, uh, you know, have a go at it. So this is a first pilot episode. I want to hear from you guys what you guys think, um, how you experienced this. Um, maybe you guys can ask questions about this live while I'm talking about the products. That's the whole idea right here. So um, it's it's a tryout. Like I said, I've never done a live stream before. This is the very first time. Um, so I'm going to do it in two segments. One is the segment um, of how this live stream is gonna go in the future episodes if we're gonna take this on. Um, and then I'm gonna switch it a little bit to a live unboxing because tomorrow is gonna be Black Friday. So I wanna look at um, some products that I think are gonna be very cheap, like some really small and affordable products, and they should probably be on sale tomorrow um, on a lot of these reseller websites like, you know, AliExpress and Banggood and Gearbest. So I've also prepared a whole bunch of links, which I will try to put up in the live chat as we go. Um, but I wanted to first give you an idea of how we can do this live stream in the future. And uh, yeah, let's see. So let me uh, let me do this, uh, this really cool transition. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, what is Xiaomi doing? Um, so this is a first uh, tryout. Normally this should have like animations and slideshows and whatnot, but I'm just gonna click through it because the tech didn't allow me to do that and I just prepared it today. So it is what it is. Anyway, um, we're gonna start with uh, some shavers because this is a product I haven't looked at before. And as you can see, Xiaomi has launched a lot of different shavers over the last few years. Um, some of these bigger ones, I actually have one of those. Um, but the one that I'm looking at is the one with the green tag, which is a very new one. It's, uh, it's actually a Xiaomi and Brown collaboration. So this is a media product um, together with Brown, which is, I, I was quite surprised to see this. So Xiaomi X Brown, um, pretty cool. It's a very small product. It is waterproof, um, at least <laughs> judging this image, you can see they throw it all the way in the water. I'm not sure if it's intended to do that, but we will find out probably sooner rather than later because uh, yeah, you'll see. So um, it's got some separate blades. As you, if, if I go back to the first slide, you can see on the bottom page here, it has some of these separate blades. Um, so this one seems to be 99 Kwai, which is around, I don't know, 14 US dollars, maybe something like that. So you can get the, um, the blades for this and it's relatively cheap. It doesn't have USB-C charging, but that's probably to make it uh, waterproof, but it came out for 249 renminbi, um, which comes down to around 32 euros or 38 US dollars right now. But um, we'll, we'll look at this one uh, very, very soon, probably sooner than you expect. 
So, next one. Um, I think this is a pretty, uh, pretty popular one. You probably know the ones that they have from iHealth, which is like this contactless one. I'll show you that in a bit. But now they have one for in-air, which is, I guess, the more traditional way. It just got launched in crowdfunding recently, so it's not out. I don't have one yet. I can't get my hands on it until they ship, which is probably going to be like halfway of December, I guess. So, um, yeah, temperature measuring, that's what it does. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it looks like probably iHealth makes these ones. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's what it does. It says temperature measuring in seconds. So I'm not sure if that's going to be two, three, four, five, six seconds. Uh, I have no idea right now. I will know once I get my hands on it. It says it has a 0.1 degree Celsius accuracy. And it's got this LED display, um, which looks very vibrant or at least very clear but this could have been photoshopped so i'm not sure this is literally the images that i got from the xiaomi app and from the xiaomi website here in china so it looks pretty cool um it comes with refill caps so you don't have to constantly put the same thing in your ear uh, and it came out for 199 renminbi, b which is around 30 us dollars or 25 euros right now on to the next one, and that one really surprised me, is this Xiaomi desktop air purifier. I mean, this looks pretty crazy. Um, it's really desktop size, as you can see, like next to that coffee cup there on the table. And it's 30, um, the circle is probably 30 by 30, and then with the foot, it is 33 centimeters in height, and it's it's probably like 10 centimeters, uh, so that's probably something like this. It's, it's, it's rather, uh, really rather small. Uh, let me double check, yeah, this is all going well. My ball man, oh, we love you, we love you. I, I'm gonna be love. I'm gonna be trying to bounce off of the chat and see what you guys are uh, are typing. But um, once I'm in the presentation, then uh, you know I'm not gonna be able to read everything. Anyway, um, desktop air purifier. It's 2.1 kilograms. It's got an active carbon filter inside, which looks like it should be replaceable. But uh, I, I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't unpacked one yet. And it has a antibacterial and antiviral coating, which I guess is, uh, well, because of viruses, which is kind of like a hot topic these days. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I like the looks of it, it's small. Do you really need a personalized air purifier? I'm not really sure, but it is a smart one. So it will work with uh, the Mi Home app. It works with Xiao Ai for those that actually use the Xiao Ai um, speaker. And it should be able to work globally because it goes from 100 to 240 volts at 50 or 60 hertz. So whether you're in the US or in Europe, you should be able to use this one because it, uh, it has a 12 volts adapter in the foot, as you can see in the, in the picture in the bottom right there. Um, it should be very silent and not use a lot of power. It's only six watts. So that is pretty good, actually. And uh, it came out for 399 RMB which is around 61 US dollars or 51 euros. And I already found them on AliExpress. I'll put down some links later. Um, I think I saw them for around 80 bucks. So there's definitely a markup there. Um, but if you really want this, then well, I'll, uh, I'll show you where to look at it. This one is very, 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 very cool. And I mean, that was the thing that we did with this What Is Xiaomi Doing um, episodes. We look at like the cool and weird and interesting Xiaomi products and this is definitely one of them. It's a Xiaomi Media Safe. So um, it's a safe box, like it's very small. It's 30 by 40 by 30 centimeters. So like something like this, it's, it's not huge. It seems to be very thick. The metal seems to be very, very good. It's quite heavy, 17 kilograms. It's got a C-grade cylinder lock in there, which is, and you know, that, that's, a, that's a good lock. Actually, um, a B would be uh, easier to pick as a lock than a C. So C is actually better than B. If you didn't know, now you learned something. Um, it's got four unlocking methods. We'll look at that in a, in a little bit. Um, it's got a Bluetooth connection, which I think is, uh, is the interesting part about this thing because it will connect to a Bluetooth hub and it will give you notifications on your phone. Um, well, as they say, as probably when it should be picked up. I didn't get that to work. Um, but when you try to open it, then you will actually get a notification on your phone like, hey, someone is trying to open up your safe. So um, it's, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool feature to have that Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth connection to a hub. 
battery powered, so that is quite interesting. It actually has four AA batteries in the door, and next to the next to the lock, there is a USB-C port. In whatever case you ran out of batteries, it actually does notify you when the batteries run out. But if you do, then well, uh, you can power it with a power bank and then at least still open it. And it has a key, so that's the next thing. It has fingerprint unlock. Um, I don't know if that's your thing. Um, I thought it was pretty cool actually. Um, it has a 97% accuracy for the fingerprint, but mine only filled once in like the probably two, 300 times that I've tried to open it. So I think 99% accuracy in my case, but they say it's 97. And then there's the very interesting password unlock. So the password unlock allows you to scramble up the password, maybe do one, two, three, four, five, then your password, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as long as your string of password is in there, um, it will open up. So that's for if someone is maybe looking over your shoulder or they're, I don't know, if you have this one in your office and your secretary is there, then you can just, you know, put a random string of numbers before your password. I thought that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Came out for 650 RMB. It was a little bit cheaper when it came out with the crowdfunding, um, but that is around 100 US dollars or 83 euros right now. And there's something interesting about this one because, well, I uh, already have a video coming up on it, so I just sped it up. You can see here, boop, whoa. Yeah, I'm working on a review of this one because I thought this is one of these interesting products that, uh, that we all like to see. So um, this is kind of where I want to stop um, showing what this what this uh, what a Xiaomi doing episode is going to be like because I think we can do something more special for this first episode and that basically means like I don't know unboxing some stuff so give me one sec um, if I go right here hey I'm a I'm a boomer right so this is uh, this is my first time streaming give me a give me a break anyway that that safe video is coming up relatively soon and what I wanted to start with right now, let's go back to the to the main scene right here. Here, I'm back right there. I have a bunch of products that I wanted to look at today. And this is the first one. So this is the, the brown shaver that I was actually uh, actually looking at. Oh, someone is actually um, is asking where can we check the crowdfunding stuff? Um, that's actually a um, Xiaomi Yopin and Xiaomi Store China exclusive right now. I saw they are doing it in, where was this? Um, in India, but right now it's actually only in, uh, in China. So this is the brown Xiaomi shaver. Yes, I actually have one. I mean, it's a very simple shaver. You can just take off the, the top like that and Replace that if needed. It's got one button here on the side. That's it. And then it's got a, uh, a charging port here in the bottom. But because, uh, you know, I saw that, uh, that image earlier um, where it said like, hey, uh, you can dump this in water. I figured, you know what? That could be fun to do right now. So that's what we're going to do right now. Right? I mean, let's make it a little bit fun, right? Um, I should do voiceover work. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, I would love to. So here we go. It's, you can hear, it's working. I haven't tried this before, so I, I, this could fail miserably. So dunking it in water. Well, okay. Okay, Boomer, I see you. <laughs> oh, image is out of focus with the table view. Let me look at this. Um, I probably need to keep it right here. Yeah, now it seems to be in focus, right? <laughs> well, they were not lying. You can actually dip it like completely in the water. So I wanted to test it live here on camera because if I would fill that, that could have been... Uh, that could have been a first live stream fill. Who knows? 
so yeah, uh, that is <laughs> that is the Xiaomi and um, and brown shaver. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, what else? What did I see here? Uh, what trackpad? Well, this is actually the Apple trackpad. Let me switch to the main the main view right here. Um, turn it on. Yeah, I did. Shall I leave it in water for the whole duration of the video and, and, and get it out in 30 minutes? Sure. It's in the water right now. I'm reading, uh, I'm reading what you guys are saying. Uh, what, uh, what am I editing in? Someone just asked earlier, I think. What do I use to edit? Um, so my main edits I do in Adobe Premiere. And then the After Effects I use for like all the titles and all the animations. So I'm, uh, I'm really an Adobe user. So let's get on to the next one. I thought there's some very interesting Xiaomi products and I'm really gonna mostly look at Xiaomi products today um, because I wanted to include Yeelight and Akara and SmartMe and all these other brands. But uh, today I'm, I had so many Xiaomi products that I had here for a while um, that I still wanted to review. So, hello, my native... Uh, my native language, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Here, this is the the air purifier that we just saw. And uh, because it just came out of crowdfunding and I just received mine a couple of days ago, I figured let's, uh, let's do a live unboxing here. I don't know if this is uh, something that you guys are enjoying. If there's anything you want to know, just hit me up in the chat. Um, actually soon I will probably need to have some moderators and some people helping me out with the live stream because now I'm just doing it um, on my own and this is the first time so I wanted to just see what your guys' reaction is and and how you know how well it is going to be received after posting this one but um, this one actually just came in a few days ago and as you can see I haven't unpacked it so I have no idea what to expect of this one but I thought this was one that you guys might be interested in. That's a charger that just dropped on the floor. And a little, well, little instruction situation. Yeah, that's all in Chinese as you could expect. It's only out in China right now. So, uh, oh yeah, we can actually open it to replace the filter. That was the question that I had, which I couldn't find on the, on the page and here that's what it looks like let me see if I can here I mean it's quite heavy um, it looks quite good you can actually adjust it I'm not sure if you guys can see that very well mm, let me switch here so here you can actually adjust the angle of it and then the back side is where it pulls the air in with the holes and then this front side um, should be where it blows the air out it's actually quite interesting the only thing I just realized right now is that I don't have an extra plug right now uh, maybe I do let me see what is the cable that it came with here no it's a two pin uh, unfortunately, I don't have one, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll update you guys soon on this one. I started a YouTube Xiaomi series because of you. Well, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that I'm inspiring you guys. That's cool, man. So uh, at least give me, give me some feedback. What do you guys think of this air purifier? I'll give it a shot later um, when I can actually turn it. Oh, I just saw that the plug is in the foot. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Huh, and then it just runs over your uh, over your desk. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. I kind of like the way this looks. Is it going to be very functional? I mean, I don't know. You can adjust it. Like now it's really in my face and now it's a little bit higher. I mean, it's not bad. It looks pretty cool. It has Wi-Fi. I was actually planning to install it in the Mija or in the Xiaomi Home app, but um, I'll have to come back on this one and probably do like a separate video on it. Uh, because, you know, installation will take a little bit of time. I can be moderator. Yeah, sure, man. I'm definitely going to be needing some moderators. So uh, hit, me, um, hit me up, uh, I don't know, somewhere on Twitter or on Facebook if you guys want to help be a moderator and stuff. 
Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be needing some people uh, uh, to help me with that. Robo Rock on a stick. Yeah. Groetjes, zegt Gijs. Yeah, what up? So, um, I wanted to look at some tools actually, because I think tools are like quite affordable. Tomorrow with Black Friday coming up, I think that's something interesting for you guys to look at, considering uh, I think a lot of people here uh, like gadgets and tools. So I have a bunch here, and there was this, this one box that actually surprised me. It's not on AliExpress. It's a Miu, M-I-I-W. It's one of those Xiaomi brands that nobody knows how to pronounce. Miu, it's a Miu. So this was a pretty cool set, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get it like on this secondary camera view right here. So this is like a whole set with like everything in it. Uh, it's got a hammer, it's got some, uh, some screw bits, a screwdriver. Uh, it's pre pretty much uh, even a knife. There's like a little knife here. And a ruler here in the back. Um, and why I wanted to show you that, I'm not sure if you guys find this one online, but I was very disappointed because in the images on the Xiaomi website, um, it shows that this one is actually filled with like screws and plugs and all kinds of stuff. But when you get it, it's empty. So that is a little bit disappointing. I thought it was gonna be filled, but apparently uh, no screws in there. But these are like some of the tools that you guys probably like. Um, at least I know, I like it. Uh, I've been using these quite a bit, but the thing that really interested me was this one. And I'm sure there's already people that reviewed this one. It's not new, um, but it's so, so damn cool. So this is a small handheld screwdriver. Um, oh, it's turned off. Actually, let me try to show you that here on the back. You can twist it, screws to the left, screws to the right, and that's literally all there is to it, except that it also has an LED light. I'm, I'm, it's quite hard to see, <laughs> but this is actually pretty helpful. Like I used it when I had to put up a table, so I was under the table, it's always a little bit darker. So to have that little LED light is really, really quite helpful. Um, and I saw this one is gonna be on sale, so, I, I need to um, I, I need to put up some of these links in uh, in the video, and then it's got a whole set of bits that that it comes with. I mean, it's it comes in this pouch. This is pretty much a no-brainer. This was one of my favorite items that Xiaomi did. I think I had it over a year ago. Uh, uh, actually, my dad has been using this one. I gave him one. He's been using it, and it's USB-C charged, so I think it has a 1500 milliamp hour battery. I think it's like 1500. So it and it lasts, man. Like I, I've only charged it like three times, I think, and I've used it a lot. So, I mean, it's such a small pouch. This one definitely is a no-brainer for like small things around the house where you need to screw something up. So yeah, this one is super cool. And then I want to, because we're in the tools, baby. We're going for it, man. I, I hope you guys like tools or else I'm messing up. Uh, hi, Wick. I'm loving your work and reviews. Hope you'll consider doing a tutorial series about... Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. That's definitely something that I would like to do. Uh, Willem van den Belt, Family Van. Yeah, 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 yeah. Family Van. Um, AliExpress, the best website for buying Xiaomi products. Well, I'm not sure what is the best website. I think it is the most reliable website. I mean, you also have like uh, Gearbest, you have Banggood, um, Geek Buying, like Mini in the Box. I mean, there's a lot of them. I just know that I think generally um, AliExpress is the most, I don't know, trusted one. I, I don't think I've had bad experiences with any of them, but I don't know. I mean, right, I just buy everything um, directly through the, the, the Xiaomi app right here in China. So I, it's hard for me to know exactly um, how these things uh, work when you're maybe in Europe or Russia or s even some, some other Asian countries. So uh, <coughs> how long do you think before uh, Xiaomi makes a compact phone? Sai. Oh, thank you, dude. Man, that's super nice, man. Um, 
I don't know, to be honest. I, I think that is one of the main complaints that people have about Xiaomi phones right now is that they all have the same size. They're all huge. I mean, here I have the, uh, the Mi 10. And I mean, I have quite big hands. So here you can see, like for me, this is still fine. But for most people, this is, they want something smaller. Um, and Apple did that very well with the mini, for example. So I, I've actually asked Xiaomi like, hey, you guys should do something like a smaller phone. So I, I genuinely don't know, but I read it quite a lot that people want a smaller phone and I've actually told them. So I don't know if they're gonna do anything with that information, but who knows? Um, here we go. So this set, I'm sure you guys know. Um, this one was very popular. I actually gave one, I gave away a few of these actually already. These things are so cool, but this one is a lot bigger. So let me show you the packaging here in case you, uh, you missed that. These, um, it's also made by we or me, whatever they're called. Um, and they have this, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a very portable screwdriver set. And this one, for some reason, comes with a cable because it is the new version. And I'll show you why it is the new version. And as you see, I haven't unboxed this one. This is also a very new one um, because this guy should... Oh, let me see. Where can I... Shit, man, that reminds you of going to the dentist. This is super cool. So here on the back, you got the speed control. You can turn it off here so it doesn't work. Then you can set it to speed one, speed two. Let me switch so you can kind of see what I'm looking at here. And then here on the front, it has left and right. And it comes with this whole set of like small bits. Um, so you can use it for laptops, um, everything that has like a small bit. Small, really, really small bits, actually. Like these are, uh, these are tiny. So if you need something like a laptop to be opened or something uh, electrical, then this one is actually cool. And, and it, they now have an electric one. So there's two versions of these, one with power and one without power. So this is actually pretty cool. Oh, and here on the bottom is the USB-C. I mean, Xiaomi is killing it, man. They just do USB-C on everything. That's great. So there's a small USB-C cable and you can charge it here. I mean, that's it, man. This is a, this is a very helpful thing. I've actually um, opened some laptops with it. And I remember I was looking for it today. Like I have the original one, the, the hand one, and I couldn't find it. And then I realized like, oh shit, I lend it out to someone. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I have the electric one now in case I need to uh, open up a laptop or some sort. So yeah, this is, oh, it only goes in, uh, in one way actually. All right, well, that's it. I think this is a very cool one. Again, I'll put down some links in the, in the, in the chat in a little bit. So, um, what happened to the Mi Pad 5? Dude, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, is there a Mi product like Ambilite? Well, no, um, unfortunately not. Um, just bought an iPad. Why doesn't Xiaomi make it? Well, they used to have these tablets and I've never reviewed one, so I'm not entirely sure how well they work, but yeah, uh, maybe next year they'll surprise us with a new tablet. I have seriously no idea. Um, how did I end up living in China? Work, uh, I mean, I work here. I have my own company doing uh, commercials and, and videos for, uh, for, for brands. So uh, I'm working here um, besides, <laughs> actually working my ass off doing, uh, doing videos for this channel. Um, and then I have a last one. Uh, I have the manual one, uh, costy, costy rules. Yeah, no, this one, I mean, I have the manual one as well. Well, I had until I lend it out and still haven't gotten it back. Um, <laughs> and then there's another one. This is yet another electric screwdriver. Uh, I mean, Xiaomi is, I don't know, they're lazy. They just want all, all their electric screwdrivers uh, <clears throat> to be launched in the last two months, I guess. So um, let me try and look at this because I haven't tried this either. 
So this is as much as a surprising for me as it is for you. Um, new Xiaomi Qingping Air Quality. Yeah, actually that one um, I wanted to put in because <clears throat> in probably two weeks, I want to do this show like every four weeks uh, and then really look at all the new, the new products. Um, the air quality and temperature sensor that works with the Mija app as well as HomeKit. Um, it is in pre-sale, it is in uh, crowdfunding, uh, I think two weeks ago. So I've ordered one and it's probably going to be in, I thought it was somewhere in December. So we love you. Well, thank you, Mar Gaming. I, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad you do. Do I speak Chinese? Well, not so uh, Yi Chen Chen, just a little bit, just a little bit. You can definitely tell he is Dutch. Yes, that is true. Uh, my accent is so faint, yeah. I, I can talk like this, you know, with a very Dutch uh, accent if you prefer, uh, but I'll, I'll stick to my own accent. Anyway, um, this screwdriver comes with a micro USB cable, come on. I, I was just, showing like oh you guys are killing it doing everything USB-C and now this one comes with a micro USB I yeah uh, what is that uh there's love in here yeah exactly limb reviews sometimes I watch your videos before doing my reviews it helps a lot <laughs> dude I'm, I'm happy to hear I, I've been ex inspiring so many of you guys man that's super cool anyway um this is the same deal but it sounds a little bit more powerful. And then there's this box of uh, screw bits. Oh, wow. It's it's just, uh, what is it? Six different bits here. Let me show you guys. It's just six different bits here. And that's it. But these are bigger size. So this is more for like quickly. There's no speed control. No. There's literally just left right the left right there's no speed control there there's nothing actually except just the bits uh <laughs> the usb port i uh so okay this one i'm not as excited about as the other ones especially the one that i showed earlier in the pouch that thing is so cool that one i just I, I just keep using it every time i need to quickly do something around the house i just keep grabbing that one so Ruben Middle, I miss what is Xiaomi doing for so long. I'm really happy that you're starting it up again. Thanks, dude. Um, yeah, and I want to do it like this. Next, uh, I'm not sure if you were here from the beginning. Um, I, I, uh, I want to, you know, go over the presentation, but then have the dialogue and you guys can ask me questions and I can give a little bit more of my own uh, thoughts about these products because sometimes there's something that's really, really cool and sometimes there's something that I'm like, mm, why do they do this? So... Um, yeah, this one, I'm not so sure. I'll put a link, but I, this is definitely not my favorite. If I have to compare this guy, which doesn't even come with a pouch, um, with this handheld one, I mean, this, this guy is just, this guy is just so cool. So if you have to choose between these two, I would say go for this one. Um, it also has that light, which is, I, I don't know. It just feels a lot more flexible in you so well i've learned something as well um have you tested the wait let me let me go back i've missed a few chats um but, 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 but. guess china italy uh what uh mm -hmm. show me air fryer yeah i don't know um i haven't had my hands on one yet but it's been constantly sold out so i'm guessing that they're very very popular man uh, even here, they were sold out. Uh, do I live in China? Well, I'm in China right now, actually. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? It shouldn't be... Uh, da, 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 da. You were the chosen one, Xiaomi. Yeah. Micro USB. Yeah, I, that's how I felt. Uh, Google Home Plus Yee Light Lights video. Yeah, actually, um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking into those. I'm definitely looking into those. So those were the tools. Um, let me show. I show. I throw some of these links in the chat for the for the tools um, because I actually prepared that and it was a pain in the ass finding like some of the good deals. So 
let me see here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. The shaver I found links for. Um, even the thermometer, the air purifier, pretty much everything that I've covered already I've found links for. So that's quite rare. Uh, here, let me post it in the chat. Uh, it's too long, okay. Uh, okay, let me do them one by one then. That's why I'm going to need a moderator to, uh, to do this stuff for me. I found a safe which is ridiculously priced on AliExpress. Um, I thought this was 200 something dollars. And what we've seen, it's a hundred, hundred dollars here. So I thought that one was definitely a little bit too much. Um, the Xiaomi air purifier, the desktop one that I've just unpacked. And then I've got the, the tools. Let me see. Where are they? Tools, 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 tools. Um, yeah, I definitely need someone to help me here so we can actually do this, um, um, without interruption. So, um, do you own one of those Xiaomi TVs? Um, no, I actually don't. And I really want one because some of my friends bought, um, the new ones and they're so freaking good. So no, I actually still have a old Samsung TV and I would love, love, love to upgrade, um, to a Xiaomi TV. Uh, does Xiaomi pay me for my videos on my channel? No, they actually don't. Uh, most of these products I buy actually, it's just the global products that they, uh, that they sometimes ask me to review. So most of these I actually get because I think they're interesting and I can be one of the first to get my hands on them because I am in China. So, uh, let me see. I'm not sure. We uh, the screwdriver. Mm, I don't know. I think I've got all of them. Not sure. I'll put it, uh, in the description below this video after that. So is the Xiaomi air purifier new? Yeah, actually the small one. Yeah, that one just came out, uh, I think two weeks ago. So it was in crowdfunding before that and they just launched it uh, two weeks ago. So yeah, it is very, very, very new. Um, let's look at a few of these really tiny weird ass products that you probably didn't even know that Xiaomi was making. And I think that is why you guys are, uh, are watching, uh, watching this show because I do like these weird, um, products that a lot of people won't cover. So I want to start with this guy. What is this? Well, let me see if the, yeah, the camera's still on. This one's going to, it's going to break down in a little bit. It only has like 20 minutes. Um, this is, I'm not even joking. It's hard to see. There's a media logo right here. Uh, this is <laughs> a Xiaomi media nail clipper. I'm not even joking. Um, they made it. <laughs> As a company, you know you made it when you have a nail clipper with your brand name on it and people will buy it. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, like the TV. Yeah, I've actually reviewed it when I was in, uh, in Beijing to check it out. That one is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but it goes further. The nail clipper that I've just looked at, they have a set. And I think I'll put on a link again. These are like $6 or something for the whole set with a, um, a tweezer and a little scissor and then two of these nail clippers. So I haven't opened this one yet. I just had the, the nail clipper, which I think is $1. It's ridiculous. Um, and I found them online through the resellers, I think for like $2, if I'm correct. So, I mean, that's something you won't find on YouTube. Anybody reviewing a Xiaomi nail clipper? Well, I'm doing it. Oh, wow. So it comes in a little box. Let me see if I can. Oh, that one is a little bit too bright, but there is actually a media logo. You can see it probably on the on the camera right now. The nail clipper, I have one. <laughs> Smart nail clipper, yeah, it has Bluetooth and automatically trims them to the desired length. No, I mean, this set is pretty cool. It's got a small uh, small scissor, then two of these nail clippers for him and her. I'm not sure if that's how they sell it, but that's how I just sold it. So there's one, yeah, this is quite fun. And the metal actually feels so good. I think it's like stainless steel feels really, really, really good. So, I mean, for, for just five bucks, this is great to have in like your travel bag. And then here, a nail foul. Yeah, it seems to, seems to foul all right. And then some, uh, 
I don't ear picker device. I don't even know what that is. If anyone knows what this could be used for, uh, maybe I don't want to know, but let me know here in the in the chat. Uh, <laughs> if they could saw. Uh, well, actually, this one does. Um, your your nails going through the room. Well, I think if you kind of do it like this, um, you clip. Wait, let me switch. If you use it like this, I had that the nails were actually in this plastic thing, and I just could empty it like that. So um, it's probably not intended for it. I think this is really just a packaging thing. But I noticed that if I use it like this, that the nails can actually fall in this plastic housing. I'm not sure, like I, like I said, I'm not sure if it's intended to do that, but that's uh, that's what happened to me. So yeah, nail clippers, man. Xiaomi nail clippers. Uh, are you ever gonna do, what is Xiaomi doing every month again? Well, that's actually the idea. So I can talk to you guys. Um, maybe you will have some questions about some of the products that I'm talking about. Um, so I wanna do it as a live stream. Um, and I'll explain at the end of the stream a little bit more why I stopped doing it because it was such a ton of work, but I'll explain, uh, I'll explain at the end. So this, <laughs> I mean, I've had, I've had this for so long and I, I never wanted to review it. So this is something that I can actually do in these live streams. Um, this is to remove like lint and stuff, um, from your clothes right now. I, this one, this sweater is perfect. Um, but sometimes you have like these little, uh, hairs and lint stuff. And I had a jacket that was very old and it actually didn't, didn't look good anymore. So I literally just cleaned it up and I was brand new again. So, I mean, this thing was like also a few bucks. It was very, very cheap. And I mean, if you open it up, you'll probably see that this can never be expensive to manufacture. It's just some blades right here. I'm not sure if I can turn it on. No, thank God I can't. So um, there's just some blades that will spin. And then there's this in front of it. So we'll just cut that off. I mean, it's it's probably very um, easy and cheap to manufacture this. It's got a decent battery because I've only charged it once. It's got a micro USB uh, port. No USB-C, I know. Terrible. Um, but this one's been out for a while. So maybe that was before they started doing... Write down in the chat what that reminds you of. Um, yeah, ear picker. That's what I actually thought. Yeah, thanks, guy. Uh, to clean your ear. Yeah, ear picker, ear picker. Okay, I think we we solved the uh, we solved the mystery. It is most likely an ear picker. Um, what else is uh, because I I've got so much stuff that I wanted to look at today. Um, I have okay one more, two more. Um, because I want to do some in the next stream again um, because it's actually kind of fun to, to walk you guys through this stuff because I think a lot of these products are are discounted quite heavily tomorrow. Um, oh, wait. I need to turn on um, this camera again. That's how professional we are right here in this Xiaomi Fi live stream. We have to turn on the camera again. So here, this is... Um, one of the watches that I did a review of, I think it's like two years ago, um, the one with the step counter, they have the one without step counter, which is this one right here. And it's, it's quite of a classy, simple looking watch. Um, but this one is literally just a watch. It's no smart stuff, no nothing. It's literally just a cheap, um, quartz watch. Okay. The packaging is quite all right. I've had this one already for, for a while and I, I, yeah, I didn't have any, um, right time to make this into a video. So yeah, let me see if, if this one looks good. It actually does look good. Let me turn off this. Yeah. I have the Xiaomi how, how nil set. Yeah. I mean, it's great. I actually use it all the time. They're very sharp. What about smartwatches? Which one do you love the most from Xiaomi? Well, I have um, I have a new one. I'll I'll, um, I'll look at that. I mean, this is quite okay. Uh, let's see if I can get that in focus and not bend my arm too much. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll look up the price. Let me uh, let me look up the price of this uh, smartwatch. Do I have it? 
do I have it? Yeah, oh, I mean, it's, it's uh, 33 US dollars. It's 33 US dollars. So that is, I mean, for what it is, I think that is acceptable. Oh, my chat has been uh, paused. Oh, um, let me go back to the, can international customers back me products and crowdfunding? Um, no, actually, no. So I knew some people that found people that can do it for you. So you basically probably PayPal them the money or something, and then they back it for you and ship you the product afterwards. Um, I have no experience with that. I personally not sure if you should trust that. Um, so I'm not going to say that's something that you should do, but I've heard that people do that. So I, I mean, you can go horribly wrong with it. Um, how did I discover Xiaomi? Oh, that's actually, uh, that's actually quite an interesting question. Do I swim? Yeah, I mean, Corona in, in, in Shanghai is, is pretty, uh, pretty well controlled, man. After March, we're, uh, we're pretty good. Um, how did I discover Xiaomi? Well, a lot of my friends were already using Xiaomi products because, well, we're in China and it was like the earphones and the air purifiers. Um, everybody pretty much had them. So I first bought the air purifier. That's actually the first product that I ever bought. And then... You set it up with the app and then you get the store in the app. Uh, that's I'm basically telling you my, my Xiaomi history. And then I saw the Yeelight light bulbs and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I want smart lights. So I bought, um, I bought the Yeelight bulbs and then my girlfriend at the time found it annoying to always turn the lights on. So I bought the hub and the light switches. So I just expanded from there and, you know, well, <laughs> you see probably my, uh, my very first video. So that is how i uh how i got yeah see it's a manicure set sorry i just got distracted i thought so too maybe it's for like pushing like your your the edge of your nails so anyway uh any news on the new watch yes i'm actually going to review that one very very soon um okay uh another uh, another person that wants to be a moderator guys hit me up on twitter or on uh, on facebook because i'm not sure if i'm gonna um remember everything here in the chat and and remember who was who but if you guys want to be a moderator um let, let's see i mean i'm this is just a pilot live stream right this is the first time that i'm doing this um and if it's being picked up well how many people are watching this stuff actually i have no idea uh 424 people okay that's i mean if if you guys say this is cool, then I will definitely uh, definitely keep on doing this. Um, stream mods, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me up on uh, on uh, on Facebook, on the Xiaomi Five Facebook page, and uh, or, or on Twitter. Just DM me or send me a tweet, and I'll uh, and I'll add you. So yeah, for sure, man, that would be great. Okay, let's get back to. This guy that was in the water the whole time, you can see, I'm not joking, it's still dripping wet. It's been in there for pretty much the whole live stream. <coughs> so, moment of truth. Yeah? I'm just throwing a lot of water on the table, but yeah, it's actually still working. So, it's been in there for a while, and it's still doing well, so... That is, uh, that is good to know. Um, and now I want to do uh, one, two, I want to do three more products. And then, uh, because you guys are asking me about smartwatches as well. I actually have a smartwatch here, uh, which has just been launched not too long ago. So, uh, okay. Let me first do these few products, and then if you guys want to see a new smartwatch, not the Mi Watch, that one is going to come uh, quite soon. I don't have it yet, but it's going to be uh, going to be soon, um, and as soon as I do, I will review it. Anyway, um, let me let me introduce you guys to a new segment, which uh, we're going to go into right now. And this is probably going to be a once, but I had this animation, so yeah, there we go. Oh my God, it's the Xiaomi Fi Corona special. Oh no. Um, and these are just a few products that I thought were quite relevant um, because, well, you know, current situations. 
Um, and I wanted to start with this one. I wanted to review it, but there's no way that I can actually measure this. So let me switch the camera once again. This is a small box. Here is a USB-C uh, cable to power it with. And there's an on off switch uh, right there. And what is this? This is a sterilizing UV filtered box. So let's say um, you want to put in your phone. I don't know where I put my phone. So many freaking boxes here. Yeah, so your phone and you need to sterilize it. There you go. Um, I've seen a lot of people use this for masks so that they, you know, they have maybe the surgical masks and they want to be able to reuse the mask. Um, the only thing is I've, I've been looking into labs and see if they could help me. I've been looking at like a bacterial testing kids and all this stuff because I, I'm not sure if it works, you know, like Yopin has been selling this ever since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, but it's supposed to sterilize and kill all bacteria of the stuff that you put in there. It's just a few minutes and then it's, it's finished. So I wanted to really measure it if I want to review it. I can't, so I'm just telling you it's out there. It's pretty cool. It fits a phone like the, the Mi 10 Pro that I have right here. So it fits Xiaomi phones in case you want to sterilize your phone. So yeah, be uh, Corona proof, I guess. And then I have one more. Um, and this one I thought was very interesting. Um, it's a smart me, you know, the, the manufacturer that makes like the Xiaomi air purifiers. Smart me actually makes face masks and they did this already way before the pandemic. I mean, they've been doing this for, uh, for I think like two years or something. And yeah, I mean, it's got a, some of this gel in there, so it uh, can get wet. I mean, it's uh, it's got this little uh, filter here. I think they should be able should be reusable. Mm. I heard someone say earlier that the this camera is out of focus. I I think this is the focus plane right here, so it should be fine. And then it's got uh, some plastic to keep it in shape, I guess. Yeah. So there we go. And, uh, well, with the, the bacterial killer thing and this ninja mask, well, you can probably not hear me that well, but I mean, this is, this one is very comfortable. I really like it. So the only reason why I wanted to do this segment is that I can show you what this mask looks like. For some reason, it reminds me of some sort of a ninja, ninja mask. So. Um, uh, I think I need a UV tester for that. Yeah, that's my whole point. Like it was so difficult for me to test it that I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I didn't want to do a full review on it. If I cannot test like the before and after with the, uh, bacterial content, for example, like that would be very good, um, as a test, but yeah, I don't, I don't have a, have a lab. So, um, does Xiaomi sponsor any gamers? I have no idea, dude. Um, Check on me community. Maybe you can see anything related to gamers. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Uh, my oh my Twitter DMs are uh, closed. Yeah, okay, I'll turn them on because at some point I got so many um, so many different messages. So I'll uh, just hit me up or or uh, just write me your Twitter handle um, and then I'll uh, then I'll open up my DMs for you. And then the last one in this. Xiaomi Fi Corona segment is this one and this one is actually such a special product because ever since the first weeks of the pandemic here in China this thing has been sold out constantly every week it I think they had like a, a at some point like a month waiting list and you could actually um enter your, your contact details if you wanted to buy one of these on the Xiaomi website. And then I think at some point it said like there's 30,000 people waiting in front of you. I was like, what the heck? So this uh, eye health one, it's not the one that we've looked at earlier with the earpiece. This is actually a contactless one. Um, and Xiaomi has been selling this for a long time. And um, a lot of malls where you, um, or restaurants, like pretty much every place in China um, during the pandemic, you had to uh, uh, get your temperature checked when you went in. So this, these things were 
hella popular. Um, yeah, like I said, they've been sold out for months. So uh, it's very easy. You just click the button and then measure the temperature like this, and then uh, it should work. Hello? Yeah, I'm healthy. 36, that's quite normal, I guess. So 36 degrees, I'm not sure if you can... Uh, it's actually quite readable, this uh, this display. So let me try my my head. 36.5, well, that makes sense. I'm a, I'm a, I have a warm head. So yeah, there you go. These are very cool. I'll, I'll put down links to everything that I'm talking about because I think everything will be on sale tomorrow. So Black Friday is such a big thing that I thought this would be a cool opportunity. Uh, the ancient medieval doctor. I know what you mean, like the pest, um, the pest doctor. Yeah, uh, not really, actually. Can you review Xiaomi alkaline batteries? Whoa, is that the ones that you're talking about? These? Is that the one that you're talking about? Yeah, I, um, I can. These are great. I mean, there's no way to really test it uh, right now, but <laughs> I just happen to have a pack here. Uh, and they're they're awesome. They're really, really awesome. So I used it in my doorbell because the, the doorbell with the camera, um, the battery lasted for around five, six months normally. And when I put in these, now they're already up for, I think, eight or nine months. So they definitely seem to do, uh, they seem to do well. But besides that, I don't, you know, I don't have much uh, experience with them. So um what do i know about uh xiaomi mechanical keyboards well i've actually tried one uh but don't know much about them so i maybe i'll review them sometimes um look and says yeah exactly thanks for your videos it helps a lot when choosing some xiaomi stuff yeah um ear correction products because of the mask yeah fly like dumbo Sure, <laughs> fly like Dumbo. Honest review, are you going to review the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G? Um, not sure, to be honest. I've been reviewing so many phones this year, um, and I don't think there's going to... Maybe maybe I'll do one more this year, but I want to focus on some more of the, the other exciting and fun products that are coming out. Um, the safe that I've shown you earlier... Um, that's definitely one that is on the list very soon. The Mi Watch, a lot of people have been asking me for months already. Um, but I would, I would maybe, maybe I will consider it. I've been wondering what baby things Xiaomi has. Oh, they have a lot. They have strollers. They have everything for babies. So, uh, pretty interesting. Mm, white on white isn't the best color scheme. Sure. Uh, try it on my forehead. I actually did. Is that rechargeable? Which one is rechargeable? Uh, you mean the... This guy? No, that one is battery powered, actually. Uh, you should be able to open it right here, yeah. So you can open it right here, and it has uh, two AAA batteries. So this one is not rechargeable, unfortunately. But, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, um, there's a few products that I know people really, 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 really been asking me for such a long time to review. But I mean, this stream has been going on for already quite a bit. I have no idea how long actually. Um, how long have we been doing this? Almost an hour. So, I mean, I can, I can definitely unbox one or two more if you guys are really, really interested in it. But I might want to keep some uh, for the next ones actually. Who knows? Like. Uh, do I have one of these Xiaomi laptops? Well, actually, I do. There's one right here on the on the desk. It's a pretty old one, so I don't have any of the new ones, unfortunately. Uh, but I would actually consider reviewing. But that's one. I mean, if I yeah, those are not uh, cheap to just buy for a review. Um, what is that trackpad? It's still the the Apple one. Mm, I, I like it because of the size and when I work I want to actually rest my wrist on the table so that you don't get RSI from using the mouse so I like a trackpad because I can wrist uh, rest my wrist 
on the table and this is a, a much better movement to make while I'm editing. So do I, okay, what else am I missing? The flashlight. Um, what's the weirdest Xiaomi product that I've ever got? Oh, that's a fun question. I don't even know. Uh, I've got like the, the ice cube tray um, in the shape of the Xiaomi Me Too bunny, which is pretty, pretty weird. Um, what else is weird? I don't know, actually. They have, they have everything right now. Uh, shoes. I think the weirdest one in terms of like the smart products was the shoes. They had shoes with a step counter in, in the sole, which was uh, quite interesting. Not sure how good that was. I think I have to recharge mine. So yeah, th those were pretty weird because everybody ha has one on their wrist, right? So yeah, that was pretty weird. Uh, GTS 2, no, I don't have that one actually. Um, Redmi Watch, is that, I don't know actually about the Redmi Watch. Uh, what is the best smartwatch from Xiaomi under 40? Okay, you know what? Let's do a smartwatch. I really um, like the GTR from last year, the Amazfit one. Um, I also think that, what is the name? Um, there's one I reviewed uh, like a few months ago, which I thought was very, very good, to be honest. So I can't come up with the name. I'm sure one of you guys in the chat can. Um, shit, I can't remember. But that one was actually very, very good. So let me see, is this camera still alive? Yeah. So this one is very new. It's also a Xiaomi ecosystem company. It's called Mi Bro, which is like an awful name. Mi Bro. Um, but uh, they've been doing these kids smartwatches. I'm sure some of you have seen them online. They do some of the kids toys, I think, as well for Xiaomi. So they've been manufacturing Xiaomi branded products for a while. Um, including those watches, which I've, I've heard some good things about. The kids watches. And now they actually have a uh, normal people watch, like a adult watch. So this is like a smartwatch tracker, the Mi Bro Air. And this one is, I mean, I, I literally just unboxed it for you guys. So um, I haven't tried this one. So I'm not sure if it's a good buy. I did find online that tomorrow it's gonna be 32 US dollars. So if it's great, I, I wanna normally test them out for a few days. Uh, what is my favorite Xiaomi product that I use every day? Well, the soap dispenser I use every day. Uh, the lights and stuff I use every day. I interact with them pretty much every day. I think it's all, it's everything smart home related because that's how I got into Xiaomi. So the smart home stuff is always for me the most interesting, like if there's new sensors coming out or if there's like new um, curtain controllers coming out or new, like anything that, that automates your house and works with all these sensors and you can make automation rules, those are definitely my, uh, my favorite type of, uh, type of Xiaomi products. Xiaomi and Ikea smart home. Um, yeah, that's actually interesting. I have the Ikea light bulb, so I, uh, I might actually um, review them because they're only in Ikea China. So here, this is the Mi Bro watch. Well, it has a sticker on it. That's why it looks like it's turned on, but it's not. And this again works what I just read with a new app. So this one doesn't work with the Mi Fit app. Um, and then, you know, the, the GTRs and stuff that I looked at recently, they work with the Amazfit app, which is now called the Zep app. And this one works with the Mi Bro Fit app. And unfortunately, um, that's a little bit disappointing. I thought maybe we could install it. Um, Mayo battery, there's no battery. Is Black Friday today? Yes, it actually is. Well, if it's Friday uh, in uh, where you are, then yes. Then you are. Then uh, you're gonna be buying uh, Black Friday deals. Okay, so there's a little charger. Again, mm, oh, okay, it's very small. It's very, very small. Well, I need to charge this one, unfortunately. I thought maybe we can uh, install it live and see if this is any good. It's supposed to be 50 ATM waterproof, so you can swim with it. Um, it does the heart rate tracking. It does uh, call notifications, text notifications for WhatsApp and WeChat and everything that you use. So, unfortunately, um, well, there's no battery, so I need to charge it. Um, 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. It just didn't have a launch screen. It's actually turned on. Oh, my. I like the, the feel of the housing. I'm not going to lie. This one is really not bad. Um, it probably has the race. Um, what? Okay. The interface is... What? Okay, I'm... I'm oh, my. What? Okay, I'm just as surprised as you guys might be right now. The interface is like this? Huh. I, I'm, 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 I don't know what to say right now. Okay, it's pretty cool, actually. Stopwatch. Okay, maybe if you guys say like, hey, uh, review this one, because to go over this in the live stream is going to be too boring for for all of us. And it's going to take a while. But this thing is actually a lot more interesting than I thought. And tomorrow I saw it's going to be like $31. Maybe they will have some more discount. But $31, I think. I mean, the screen looks good. It looks very readable, at least for now. Um, and it's... Is it at its brightest? Oh, no, it's not at its brightest. Okay. So, I mean, this is the... The Mi Bro, Mi Bro Air. Mi Bro. I okay, so ju don't judge a watch by its name because the name me it's not so cool, but it it actually is. I like the feel of it. It's surprisingly interesting. So okay, sorry. Um, Black Friday is on a Thursday today. No, actually, right now it is ten past twelve in uh, where I am at, and that means Black Friday just started ten minutes ago. And it's definitely in Sydney, Australia. There you go. What's the cheapest product uh, from Xiaomi? Oh, yeah, they actually have some RC toys. Well, the very cheapest product I've ever seen from Xiaomi is probably this nail clipper that we've just seen. I think, I've, I think it was less than a dollar, probably 50 cents, or I can't remember what, what they're, they're cheap. That's probably the cheapest Xiaomi product ever. Let me respond to a few more in the chat. And after that, I want to, well, call it a day, call it a night, call it a morning, wherever you guys are. Um, and then if you guys say like, hey, this is awesome, give this thing a hell of a lot of thumbs up, give it a hell of a lot of likes, um, post comments underneath this video when it's uploaded. And if it does well, then I'm going to do this monthly and maybe even every two weeks because Xiaomi has been... I've made a list already for the next episode, which is just Xiaomi Media products, and that's more than 30 new products. So it's there. Yeah, I could probably do this every two weeks if you guys are very interested in this. So um, what is this? Looks like, yeah, it kind of does look Samsung-esque. Yeah, you're actually right. Review it soon. Yeah, okay, I will do that. Uh, probably. Bluetooth speaker under 80 bucks. Which one? Uh... I actually like the square one. They have them in colors. They have the blue one, like the gold one, the pink one. Those were actually very, very good. Um, probably my favorite Bluetooth speaker. Where am I from? I'm from the Netherlands. Yes, I am Dutch. Uh, always wondered why you moved to China. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a filmmaker. I, I do video editing and motion graphics, animation um, for brands and all kinds of videos so um yeah and they they need a lot of videos in china so that's what i'm uh, that's what i'm doing right here um after your review rocking a mi band 3 still okay uh no i think most chinese websites don't have black friday because we had 11 11 which is like the big um well black friday for china so um there, there's definitely a few stores that do it, but most of them uh, just had their 11-11, and then they're going to do another uh, day of deals on 12-12, so that's going to be uh, 12th of December, so I, I think most of them don't. Um, what else? I'm going to anchor Motion Plus, yeah, those, those are definitely uh, good. Um, I'm not sure what the price is. How many Xiaomi product quality? How Xiaomi... Product quality. Okay, so what do I think of the Xiaomi product quality? Um, actually, everything I have is still working. 
I cannot think of one product that doesn't work anymore. Um, okay, there was one. Um, that is the temperature sensor, the round one. I think I've reviewed it like two and a half years ago. The round temperature sensor. When I moved here, I got it out of the box. I put it on the table. It fell off and dead. Dead. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was the only thing that something really broke. Uh, actually, recently we had some problems with the Mi Band, so I need to go dive in and see if that's an actual issue with the Mi Band or that we just have to reboot it. So, uh, because there was some problems with swimming, the tracking uh, didn't work, it didn't register, so uh, I haven't rebooted it, so maybe. Um, give me a shout out, well, modded gaming, you just got it. Uh, restrictions, well, no, not really, actually. Uh, it's a great format to see these in. Singles day, yes, there you go. Is everything censored? I can say shit, so I guess not. Uh, no Cyber Monday. Uh, I'm not sure, don't think so in China. There will be probably Cyber Monday everywhere on all the resellers and <laughs> everywhere in the US and Europe. Uh, 265 days battery... Imilab outdoor cameras. Ah, they're out of stock. Yeah, I've seen that quite a bit. I, I mean, I have no control over that. Um, does Xiaomi have a waterproof speaker? Well, they do, but it's not really waterproof. I did a review on it. You can find it in the channel. Um, it is, uh, I can't remember what the IP, IP5 or I, I can't remember what the rating was. It should withstand some rain, which it did. Uh, I kind of wanted to push it put it in a bowl of water, didn't like that, did not like that, so uh, not really 100% waterproof, show me, uh, huh? any idea where I can get them, no, I, I seriously don't know actually, uh, call, I'm actually from Utrecht, currently living in Hilversum, well, that's, uh, that's cool, I miss the female presence in your videos, yeah, I know what you're referring to, uh, I'm not sure if Susanna is in, in China actually, right now no new desktop monitors well yeah they have but that's going to be in the next episode i just wanted to do like an interaction with you guys read the chats a little bit more um next time i will just go through all of the new uh the new products and then i will have to chat on this computer so i can actually read the chat while we go over the new products that's i think how we're gonna set this up it's i mean this is the first time ever live streaming boomer you know i've never live streamed before so you know you have to start somewhere and uh again hit up those like buttons um triple tap it well maybe not just tap it once give me that like if you guys really like this anybody that said in the chat like hey i want to be a moderator that's super cool i'm definitely interested in in having you guys on as a moderator um i'm definitely going to be needing some help so uh, I don't want to stretch this one too long. In the next episode, I want to look at a lot more new products, less unboxing, and keep the unboxing and the reviews really for the review and do the what is Xiaomi doing. Uh, probably like 80 or 75% going over all the new stuff, which is going to be a lot. There's really a lot, and not just from Xiaomi, but also all these ecosystem companies. Akara is doing a lot. Yeelight has been, been really really pushing it viomi is pushing it like there's so many products coming out every month so i think uh, i think i want to focus more on the new products going forward and then maybe do like one or two unboxings after that so i think this has been quite long um oh okay that's definitely a question i want to i want to answer do i think xiaomi will enter the u.s market well they're doing it but they're doing it very very slowly and steady like just one product